It's a place where I can be free to be as extravagant, eccentric as I wish to be. I think of it very much as a playground where I can test out, experiment, and play. It's a little bit of a parallel universe that I create so I can be free and dwell in, in possibility. This has been, for me, life transforming in that it has completely shifted my perspective on object-based art and engaging with people. My name is Philip Notre Dame, I'm legendary. One of the reasons I created this is, is precisely to move away from rigid formats of all kinds. I have a kind of a template, like the, the, this notion of a museum, um, but I, I also try to break free from that. And, and the breaking free is, is the fun part. The only material I have really is that presence of the other person. And whatever that person brings or fails to bring is what I'm working with and, and inviting the other to, 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 to shape along with me. Because we, we, there is absolutely, there's nothing else to work with. I mean, I basically draw attention to the everything happening in the in the very moment. This is the portal to the museum, and um, this, this ticket, and oh, by the way, this is an interesting kind of sound piece if I to listen to. It. Yeah, the sound piece is, is part of the I mean, the museum is out walls. And I mean, there are no limits to the homeless museum in the sense that you can take it anywhere you want. The art is just a bait. And it's just a means to access true emotions. Art is what makes life more interesting than art. So I use it to access, in a way, the, the, the private, the personal. I mean, this is the interesting element is that I'm outdoors in full view in the public realm, but use that space to access the private is important. Um, Mr. Cole. It's very hard to uh, learn Spanish. For me in Florence, it's a historic moment. I'm going to stick to this right now. For reasons unknown to everybody, this is the Homeless Museum of Art.